the best way to approach the intestinal obstruction is to look carefully and see if we can determine where the obstruction is in the intestine because the intestine is quite large and to see if we can understand why it's happening to make sure we look carefully for any other associated abnormalities that haven't been seen before or are yet to be discovered. And one of the most important tests you can do for that is a fetal echocardiogram, which is a test looking specifically at the baby's heart. And finally, trying to figure out whether or not an amniocentesis is a good idea. Once those things are all put together and the best diagnosis for you is made, we'll carefully follow the baby to make sure that the baby's bowel remains healthy and that the baby does not require early delivery. There are a variety of blood tests that can be done as well on the mom for things like personal infection or genetic disorders like cystic fibrosis. And your doctors will definitely go over those with you in detail.